Welcome to Hobby with Ollie, where today we've got a mysterious package to open. But before we get to that, we need to go back a little bit. Now, just before Christmas, I came across a fantastic YouTube channel by the name of Paint Quest. Toby, who makes the videos over on Paint Quest, does fantastic editing on his videos, all about kit-bashed models and other really cool hobby stuff. So we got chatting and thought it could be fun to each convert up a mini and send it to each other to be painted. Now Toby is a really cool dude and his channel is awesome, so be sure to check out how he made his custom mini after you've seen me paint it from the links in the description or at the end of this video. Okay, so let's see what's inside this mystery box. Dear Ollie, it's time. A lone, lone wolf, wolf has made, has made his, his way from the depths of, of Necromunda to your doorstep. He's not just a simple sheriff, but the personification of right and wrong in the Underhive. It's time to paint the man of the law himself, Marshall Darkstar. Have fun painting all the best, Toby. I think that this is it. I think that this is the mini that Toby has converted up for me. And there he is. Look at him. He's got a little cowboy hat, six shooter pistol, and he looks like he's got a little cyber rat or some sort of scrawny rat accompanying him. That is excellent. I can see there's all kinds of little, oh, it's a rat running through a little tube underneath. Excellent. With the unboxing excitement out of the way, we're back in the hobby room and ready to paint. Now this guy's come a long way, so I think it's only fair that we give him a paint job that makes it worth the trip. Now in coming up with his kit bash, Toby was partially inspired by a cartoon he used to watch called Brave Star. Now, given that this is an 80s, 90s kids TV show cartoon, it is suitably mental. With a Native American cowboy sheriff with the power of spirit animals acting as the protector of a sci-fi new Texas. There's a lot in there. Unfortunately, unlike Brave Star, his cousin, Marshall Darkstar, is stuck on Necromunda. So he can only call on the powers of friends on addicted rats and his mangy sidekick, Cat Hans, to help him. His colour scheme is going to be a little bit more muted. First off, I need to channel the spirit of the diseased underhive raccoon to tidy up my hobby room double quick. Way better. Now, let's start off by priming the model black and then focus on the base. Vallejo gunmetal and copper are going to make up the bulk of pipes and gangways. I tried to be as careful as possible here not to get any metallics on the animals around the base, and while I made a few mistakes, I'll come back in later to clean those up. Now to base coat those animals, though I'm not really sure the marshal actually wants too much help from them. Don't really know where they've been. I'm going to use a variety of brown shades until I find a combo I'm happy with. As I had made some mistakes with my metallics, I used Rhinox Hide as a first layer. This paint covers really well, which allows me a solid base coat for future colours. Rust colours for the base were next, using Vallejo Rust, both the metallic and regular version, in order to provide some interest across the purely metallic base area. For the sneaky rats, I used Mornfang Brown as a highlight, followed by adding Bugman's Glow and then Kislev Flesh into the mix. For the cat, I wanted to go for a yellow fur colour. I started with a layer of light brown from Vallejo. This paint was pretty thin, so a second coat needed to be applied for good coverage. I next applied some streaks of yellow ochre. These were drawn in lines with very little paint on the brush to try to simulate fur. After this, the yellow was a little too prominent, so I washed it back with Reichland Flesh Shade. You may also have noticed that this particular Moggy has some exposed bones showing, which makes sense in the Cursed City, where it originally comes from, but to make it fit with my Necromunda base, I decided to enhance him with some cybernetics. To add a final highlight to Hans's coat, I used Wraithbone as a spot highlight, emphasising tangles and tufts of fur. Uriel Yellow for his one good eye, and a vertical black line for the pupil, and I also gave the rats some glowing red eyes with Mephiston Red. With the base details done, it's time to paint the Marshal. Before I do that, be sure to like the video if you are enjoying it so far, and let me know if there's any die-hard Brave Star fans in the audience. Comments down below. For the armour, I used Vallejo Yellow Olive applied as two thin coats, with Rhinox Hide for any leather details. His underclothing got a coat of Vallejo Middlestone, and his hat a coat of Wraithbone. 
Lastly, a neutral grey will help to round out any final clothing details, and any metallics were picked out with gunmetal. It's time now to put him through the Underhive Ringer. Marshal Darkstar is already serving as a bounty hunter in my gang, racking up his first few kills. But to get there, he had to crawl through a bunch of Agrax Earthshade. I used this as an all over wash. I did thin down the Agrax Earthshade for the hat, just so that the white color wouldn't get completely overwhelmed. Next, onto highlights. Yellow Olive mixed 50-50 with Death Guard Green for the shoulder pads, and also applied as scratchy lines to his coat. This helps to give distinct textures even when using the same colours on different areas of a model. I then applied another highlight, this time of pure Death Guard green, covering only more prominent edges. I gave some touch-ups of Wraithbone for the hat. It is his pride and joy, so it makes sense that he tries to keep it as clean as possible, even in the dirty sump of Necromunda. The leathers got a similar treatment to the coat, but this time using Scrag Brown. On to his boots. He's a lawman, so he's got to keep them shiny, so I highlighted them up with Vallejo Light Grey. On to the final details. Mephiston Red highlighted with Evil Sun Scarlet for his eye lenses, and then Waystone Green Technical Paint for his hand scanner. He must be confused as to why there's so many life form blips on that scanner, as he probably hasn't noticed all the rats running around. I put these onto the scanner as blobs of Moot Green, which were then highlighted up with a bit of white. And with that, here he is, the man of the law himself, Marshall Darkstar. Thanks so much to Toby from PaintQuest for sending me over this model. It's been so much fun to get to paint, and I've gotten a lot of new challenges with things like the fur, and then also trying to make him stand out from the rest of my gang while also fitting the theme. Toby's got a video on his channel right now that you should go check out about how he made this model, and be sure to give him some love while you're over there as well. Also, subscribe to both of our channels, as in the coming weeks we're going to be doing another conversion, the one that I made for Toby, that's currently sitting somewhere in international shipping. I'm not gonna lie, that video tested my conversion skills and my sanity. So make sure you're subscribed to check it out. Lastly, thanks so much to all of you for watching this episode. If you're in need of any hobby supplies, be sure to check out my Element Games affiliate links in the description down below. Element Games sells things at a discounted price compared with Games Workshop, so you can get some money off your products, and I also get a small kickback at no additional expense to you. Until the next one, my name has been Ollie, this has been my hobby, and I'll see you next time.